not sure how many horses it is, but it's definitely an old one. It just uh, came out of the dump, so I threw it away. And yeah, I'm gonna be working on it. It's not. It's not locked up. It's got a bleed on it. It's got old gas on it. That pretty much sums it up. I'm gonna dig into it a little deeper. We got the spark plug out of it. This is what the spark plug looks like. It's got old gas all over it. Alright guys, um, this is, I've got the gas tank here, with the breather, goes right here, had that watered up and stuck in it, there's the gas tank, and that little hole right there is where the oil goes, but, and here's the other cover piece, but, this is my main concern, is since it looks like it's been used a lot, um, how bad the inside of the motor was, this is your head here, and that's where the spark plug goes. This is obviously the inside of it here. That's my gasket. And this, this right here, is your exhaust valve, and this is your intake valve. Or maybe it's the other way around, I don't know. This may be your exhaust valve. No, I'm pretty sure this is your... This is your intake valve, this is your exhaust valve, and this is obviously your piston, and your piston goes back about that far, and it leaves the oil. But, yeah, I'm going to get this put back together, hopefully it's got a decent amount of compression. Get the old gas out of there, get that, got a Tecumseh carburetor on it. And, obviously, because it's a Tecumseh. And, yeah. Get your back then, guys. Alright, this is what we're dealing with here. I've gotten the carburetor taken off. This is what the float bowl looks like. Right here. Yes, this screw here, or bolt, that goes into the bottom of the carburetor is actually a jet it has hole there and a hole there somebody's getting excited down there um and here we have the carburetor itself which has a brass float bowl or not float bowl um float in it, and if you pull it back, which you have your jet here, your float jet, which the float bowl controls, hence by the name, and you are supposed to have your main jet here. But as you can see, that is gone. I've just noticed. That would be why the person threw it away. That, that, that's not supposed to be gone. That's supposed to be there. That's not good. This is a Tecumseh. That is not good. You can buy, not buy parts. So, I'm probably going to find myself stealing parts off of something else. I also forgot to show you here, this is our gas that was in the carburetor here, and I'm a tard, um, yeah, I completely forgot that Tecumseh Desert carburetor is different, and it doesn't have a main jet there, this is actually the main jet here, and it just kind of just screws in there like that. So, yep, that was our only problem. 
blow goal again. And that is where the carburetor blows. Alright. I had to go digging deep into my parts stash to fi find another one of those. Right here. And looks like I found one. Actually, a brand new one at that. Just shiny it is. Um, which actually came from a donor car that is brand new that I had just rigged up and drilled some holes in for the valves to put on a tiller because uh, things full of clay, as usual, because we live in Georgia. So, yeah, I'll just screw that in there and get that all put back on there, replace the seals, and, uh, yeah, go from there. Turns out I'm a tart again, because as you see here, this jet is obviously different than this jet. Let me get them beside each other here. As you can see, you can tell the obvious difference in the two. Yeah. So, I just took the air compressor, put it on the end of this one, and blew it out. And it made a real loud pop noise, and then a whole bunch of air started coming out two holes. So, I guess we fixed this one. I'm not going to worry about replacing that gasket. And instead, it, and if it starts leaking, it will. That's about to be it for this one. Starting to get dark. I got a new gasket made up. The old one we had to scrape off of there. And, yeah, that's the part that attaches. And, yeah for this one guys have a good one uh, stay tuned for the next episode of uh, this adventure for trying to fix this really bad thing push my wire